Today is October 26th of 2022. I'm gonna do an unboxing of these Goofish uh, slow jig rods that I just received. Um, they sell these on Alibaba Express. Nope. Yeah, actually I think they sell them on Express and they sell them on Alibaba, but they're more expensive than they are on Amazon. It is 2.49 p.m. Just received these. Uh, they look like they arrived in pretty damn good shape. The tubes, they're really stout tubes. Like I can't dent these with my hand. There's no creases in these. I mean, I can't. If I try to put some mustard on there, I can't, I can't bend these at all. There's a couple of footprints on here, or shoe prints, big deal. Because they're, uh, they're intact. They're not, like I said, they're not creased or dented at all. The goofish tape is still intact on the end caps. So I would anticipate that physically from the shipping, these are in good shape. We'll see what the uh, production uh, condition is. Let's set myself up for the unboxing here. I think this will probably fall down during this process. Uh, that sucks. Let's give that a shot. Okay, good. That bubble wrap is the first layer here at the tip or the base. I'm not sure what this is, but. Mainly doing this video to uh, show everybody else how they come shipped so you don't have to be concerned about it and or uh, if there is damage I want to I want to have it first on camera right there in the unboxing here to uh, show the company of course which uh, my understanding is they're a really good uh, res real responsive company at taking care of stuff that arrives damage so here's the, uh, the rod butt And it's in a, a cheap cloth case, but that's good. See if it's getting trashed in here. That's good. So you even have to cut each of those pieces of tape. Like the dullest knife in the house. Definitely packaged well. So, the claws are going to be manufactured claws at this point. Okay. So, how are these? Oh, from the t 
set back. It's actually pretty cool that they come with this. I don't know if I'll use it again, but. And it comes with a little plastic uh, shrink wrap cover on it as well, which is nice. Next section is not shrink wrapped at all. It's clean. says it says that they're Fuji guides but uh, you know who knows none of the guides are are bent incorrectly uh, for angle Good on the, as far as the epoxy in here, the guides. Can't really see anything that I would call a flaw yet. Guide eyes look good. Tip. Tip looks okay. All right. So one down, one to go. Looks good. Give me fish my end. Good job on the packaging, good fish for sure. There's zero, almost zero chance that those are going to be bent in shipping. I mean, it'd have to really rough house them to bend that. I think I mentioned I bought them on Amazon. They were $169 each, uh, plus ship, or excuse me, no shipping on Amazon Prime. Uh, they were $190 on uh, Ali, AliExpress, I believe is the one I went to on that, which kind of surprised me. Free shipping, but, um, you know, take forever from, from China, of course. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people have no idea when they're buying these that they're coming from China, but... These came technically out of Florida, uh, but I'm certain somebody just bought a shipping container full of them or a bunch of them and is just reselling them on Amazon, like everything else on Amazon. So if you don't like buying Chinese products, these aren't for you. Stop this video right now because you're just getting offended. Wham. If you look at your sabikis sometimes, where they come from, look at your lures, where they come from, you'd be surprised how much of this stuff comes from China, and you'd be surprised at how much of your stuff that you're buying off of Amazon 
comes from China and you're not even looking. Toyota, uh, Toyota parts, uh, spark plugs, oil filters that you're buying on Amazon, China's not gone. So get over yourself. And they're garbage, by the way. The videos on that, how much garbage, how they are actually garbage. All right, let's see. That looks okay. Hmm. This torque is really, really hard. It's what? I don't think that's okay. I think that's just the pattern, but we'll find out shortly. Let's go there. The eyes look like they're at uh, decent angles. Let's see. They're straight. They're not straight. I'm gonna check this one to see if these are straight. So far, so good. Yeah, so I, I see no cause for alarm on these at all. They all look really good. Um, put these to work and uh, do another review later of how they fish. I, I used one of these down at Corpus Christi, the buddy that turned me on to these and uh, really, really enjoyed using that for jigging for a snapper. Uh, we didn't catch any that day, but I chased out by rain. But anyway, really good. The color is what I would have expected based on the, uh, the photos online. Yeah, it's claiming it's Fuji, but you know how this goes. I, I want to put a lot of stock in that. So these are loose, but of course, that's where you're going to be tightening these up. That's, I assume that's normal. These are plastic right there um, where my thumb is tipped. The, uh, the threads are plastic. Um, again, supposedly, these are Fuji guides. We say Fuji, but we know how easy it is to knock that off. So for the money, um, they they just feel really good. I mean, they are so light. Let's, let's weigh these on a gram scale. All right. So our gram scale is zeroed out. The plastic shrink wrap is off of here. And the uh, tag, of course. We're weighing in, balance it a little bit, right at 214 grams. It's hard to, yep, two, two, let's see. I would say two, 214 or 216 grams. Let's see what that is, it balances. That is. Right at about seven and a half ounces. If I get it stable. Yeah, right about seven and a half ounces of the pierce. There you go. Hope that helps somebody. As far as quality control goes, let's see how even everything is. So far, everything looks fairly well matched up. Yeah, so anyway, I hope that helps somebody. If uh, you like this video, like it, subscribe. I'll try to do as many as I can.